All right, so I'm doing a uh, the pedal fix on like a 99 to like 03 um, F250s, 350s. Uh, what you have is uh, this right here, and this little bushing in here goes bad a lot because of the constant uh, pressure. So what you do is you need to cut this off right here. And you replace it with one of these. It's a little heim joint. Then on your pedal, get your whole pedal assembly out. You can try to get this clip out and pull out the, the pin, get just the pedal out, but it's easier to just take the whole bracket out. Once you get it out, right here on the back side, there's a weld, just grind it smooth till it's flat. Once it's flat, take a uh, punch and go from this side, punch that out, and then you'll thread this in there. It'll go on like this. This way. So, I'm going to cut this off in a minute and go from there. Alright, so get a good handle of this, get some vice grips or something. What you want to do is cut it right here. Pretty much cut it into the circle that way. You want to leave as much as you can. cut it down so you can get it in there it's better to cut it further up so you don't uh, take too much off once you cut it off you can grind it down to where it fits in there and it comes with a tat with a screw right here that you tighten it up to hold this from coming out but I'm actually gonna just weld around it it'll be a more permanent fix So now we're going to punch out that pin. Let's get a good angle on here. And there she is. See that right there? See, it just comes right out. There's actually a little, some little lip there, so you can't punch it out the other way. Yeah. All right, so, so we got the, we got the pin out, okay, and uh, I got the head on here. I ground it down a little bit to make sure it was the same length as the original one. Um. I'm just holding it on there with the with this retaining screw right now, but um, like I said, I'm gonna weld it all the way around here. I figure, make sure it never comes off. I mean, if I ever need to take this whole piece out, you know, if I mess it up, I'll probably just have to buy a new one anyway. So I'm just gonna weld it around here, put a little bead on there, and make sure it never has never moves from there. Um. So we got the bolt out that goes through the here. Um, if you remember, the pin stuck out, the nipple stuck out on this side. So you can put the bolt this way or this way, whichever way you want. But I'm probably just going to put it through this way, and it'll be like a stud sticking out. So um, this is a very tight fit in here. The bolt just goes in there, but what you want is you want it to stay as tight as possible so what you need to do is you take and kind of just get it started like that and then get yourself get yourself something to thread it in there um, you're not supposed to really clean out that uh, the hole because you don't want really any play on here 
and you can see it goes in there. I'm just ensure to get a nice tight fit. No play in any direction. Bottom it See that? So what you have is you have that. Then you get your rod once you get your thing back in the truck, and just slide it on right there. Get your uh, washer and your, I mean your lock lock washer and your nut, and put it on there, and she'd be good to go. So that piece is ready to go back in the truck. Got that bolt thread all the way in. <clears throat> Got this piece. Got it welded right there. It's all good. Make sure I didn't get any slag in here. Still spins freely. That's not coming off of there. So now you can uh, go ahead and assemble everything back together. Well, I uh, got my permanent clutch fix done a little while ago and I decided to take my truck for a drive well I snapped my uh, rod in half apparently right here let's see, let's see it right there that shiny spot it's uh, bottoms out against the side of the clutch pedal so uh, as going in it created sideways force and uh, broke off the rod so uh, I'm gonna have to uh, probably grind this side down right here and uh, weld this I guess to get me going until I can get a new rod for my clutch pedal all right so I was saying how my rod broke see that shaved it down a little bit to get a little more better weld on there and what I did this side on this side was as thick as this side so I ground it down so it won't run into my clutch pedal and not snap it off again so I don't know if whoever made this little ball or whatever the heim joint thing ever realized that but I'm gonna weld in here just to make sure it's strong in there and then uh, well, we're back together. Alright, so here it is. Just welded back together. One piece. See, I uh, ground that side down pretty good. Then I welded it back so it uh, retained all its strength. And we'll bolt it in. See, we have no clearance issues now. And hopefully, this will hold together until I get myself a new rod. All right. So we've got it back assembled. Let's see. You can see this. Uh, where is it? Uh, there it is. And you can see there's clearance between the rod and the pedal now. 
So now, it doesn't come into contact with it. it doesn't push it sideways and break it. So, there it is. So whenever you do yours, make sure you shave the side down that's gonna go close to the, to the clutch pedal. That way you don't break your rod.